So that's why I went with uh, chorizo, because it's already fully cooked. And I'm just kind of doing long cuts on it. And then doing... Um, and then cutting into the side of it. Because I don't actually... I don't like the circles. I don't like... I don't like the... Doing the circles. Because it gives me like that Frankenbeans hot dog feeling. And while I have nothing against that. I just... You know... It's about presentation. Even if it's for yourself. You can like... Do a couple cuts in a certain direction and make things a little bit nicer for you. Kind of experience things in a different way. It doesn't take much to add the flavors that you want to. Do I save them? Do I do I do them? Do I save them? Do I do them? Do I save them? Do I do them? No. It's going to be fine. It's just going to be like little bite treats. It doesn't have to pervade the entire dish. I am just cooking for myself, so... It's not a big deal. I'm going to hit these with oil, but we're also going to season them now. I was about to ask if there's a reason you're cutting them that way. You know, <laughs> I, I also, anybody, if you ever have any questions about anything, it never is interrupting me. It is never making me repeat myself in a way that I don't want to. It helps me discover more questions to answer, which I want to do. I did bring that up on the last stream where I was like, my, my the way that I learn is to over-explain to myself about everything that I do and that's why I went into science that's why I did everything so feel free to ask me anything always I don't mind if it derails discussion that's already happening maybe I won't answer but uh, for the most part I'll even answer random random things <laughs> um, so don't be worried that I don't want to answer or it would interrupt or bother me I'm down I just hit myself in the face literally Okay. Olive oil. Um, and yeah, uh, it, I what the whole point of me saying that, by the way, is that um, it gives me actually a profound satisfaction to answer people's questions before they ask them. Because of the way that I explain things and I do things like that. I've trained a lot of people at work uh, over the years. And a lot of times the way that I'll preface my training is like, listen, I'm going to talk out loud to you. I'm going to say a lot of things because I believe that more information is better and helps people better understand things. So I'm going to talk with the assumption that you don't know everything. Which means that occasionally it might seem small, it might seem too detail oriented, but there's a reason why I'm saying Uh, I wouldn't trust myself to not cut myself a long way like you did first. Carefully, knowing where the knife is going, knowing how your fingers are going to guide it. Occasionally, yeah, I do have it a little out, but really I'm still doing a little bit of a claw. Um, just kind of making sure that you manage where the knife is going. If the knife blade and the sharp part is already past where your fingers are, at all times, you're not going to cut yourself because it's literally never going to be in the way. But it takes practice. Always go slowly. Only work as fast as you are comfortable with. And only work, uh, only work as fast as, um, 